Hi, my name is Byron Stewart. I grew up here in Fort St. John, and I am proud to have had the opportunity to serve our community on Council since 2011. And I would like the opportunity to continue to represent the residents of the City of Fort St. John. Making our city a better place to live, work, and play takes hard work and commitment. This is work I wake up every day excited to do, and I hope you will continue to allow me to represent you, the citizens of Fort St. John. If re-elected, I look forward to continuing the vision and plans for the future of our community. It is time to actively build our community. We need to activate our plans. The City of Fort St. John's official community plan was adopted in August. This policy document is the community's vision for the next five to 10 years. Incorporated within this vision document are the plans for the future of our community. We need to activate these plans. We need to put shovels into dirt. We need to build for tomorrow. The time is now to shape and build our community with a renewed vision that will benefit our community and residents for the next 40 to 60 years. The work needs to be done now on our downtown infrastructure, our police detachment, our parks, our roads, our sidewalks, the vacant lots, educational, recreational and leisure facilities. We need to build for tomorrow. We need to continue to, commu need to, continue to communicate, collaborate and celebrate. It is important that we as a council continue collaborating and communicating with the residents and business owners of our community, our regional partners and neighbours and all levels of government. With the announcement today of the largest investment in Canadian history, we also must remember to celebrate the fact that we have a bright future ahead of us. I am passionate about our community and I will continue my dedication in making this city a strong, vibrant community that meets the needs of all residents. For more information about me, visit vote for byronstewart.com on October 20th, please vote.